Hi, hi, it's Lena. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my weekend plan with me for Friday, April 8th, Saturday, and Sunday in my Erin Condren daily planner, fatigue planner. Um, my goal is to create something like this where it's doodles or like sketches with black marker, I have a paper mate flare, and a highlighter and maybe a little bit of washi because um, I'm loving the look of the doodles lately. I keep seeing this all over Instagram. <laughs> I'm loving it. So I'm trying to just stick with something simple. Um, I don't have a lot of sticker kits yet. I'm trying to explore and have fun with that because it's so easy to go down a rabbit hole with that. Um, but for the most part, I wanted to just see what I could do with this to just enhance it, but still make it functional and very simple. So let's get started. I have my main planner that I'm going to be referencing from. And then this week, randomly, my husband suggested I try an hourly plan with me. So I, he just printed off this time management sheet for me. So <clears throat> as you know, he's always kind of teasing me and saying we are one planner away from having it all so this is another thing where I'm like hmm maybe I should switch to hourly planning and now that I don't but I don't have an hourly planner so this when I did this yesterday this was the first time I actually wrote down the hourly day and I think I could benefit from this because sometimes I kind of like lose track of time and start to do stuff that I shouldn't be doing until later like I don't manage my time well even if I write down a list even if I write down like what's the most important thing I think I really benefit from like hourly so we're gonna do that we're gonna make our sections and we're gonna plan out for the weekend okay so I'm gonna start with putting down the time and I'm going to start with seven So doesn't it just elevate it to just kind of like little, make little boxes? It almost looks like a cube coming out. It reminds me of like art class when I was in middle school, or like fifth grade, I think, where we learned how to make dimension for boxes. Does anybody remember that? All right, so now I'm just gonna fill in my day. Let me reference this back. Okay, so that's mostly the day routine. Um, 
you know, me and my kids wake up about seven-ish. We get ready. It's a craziness, chaos. Let me know in the comments if you have kids and your morning is just crazy. As much as you prepare, it's still nuts. So give yourself that time. I always, I never give myself enough time. <laughs> I wish I did. I always think I do, but I don't. We're always rushing. Um, then I work from about nine to about 12-ish. Um, I'm home with my youngest. We have lunch. And then this is like where my pockets of time get lost because I'm like, oh, what should I do? What should I do? So now I'm going to look at my list once I write it and then maybe I'll write it in there to say like, okay, do some YouTube stuff at two o'clock and then I have to pick up my other kids and then we usually have snack. And then after this is like when we're so tired, everybody gets home from school. Another crazy time with kids. It's like the witching hour when they get home. Um, so <laughs> We'll have to see so sometimes like the things that I put in these boxes don't get done just because it's just real mom life so we'll see but it's better to start with a plan right all right so now I'm going to fill in my to-do list for the day my YouTube the goals and then the tracking so every day I've been tracking my movement my win for the day gratitude self-care and then what I did last time was I did my water and then this is my cleaning, my bathrooms. So I'm going to do that again down here so I keep track of it. Okay, and then sometimes I've also been putting the weather up here. I'm going to have to check my phone in a little bit or like a quote. I was putting more things to track up here, but then I felt like it got like wonky. Um, also, in real life, totally didn't plan anything today. Did I get anything done? No. See, I like how this is like, I'm loving the doodles lately. I don't know. Let me know. Do, do you do stickers? Do you like doodles? I feel like this is so much more easy to just like get into to start and like feel good about your cute planner <laughs> to just say, I'm going to just write some doodles. I'm just going to outline things. I'm going to make a dot grid border. I'm going to make it look like a cube. I'm going to use a little bit of a highlighter. I don't know. All right, now I'm going to move on to Saturday. But here's the tricky part is like, I don't know... Let's see if I can like use the grid. I don't know if you can see it on the the video, but like if I make a my own box here, so I can keep this as the time. That's a little ugly. Okay, and same thing here. Now this weekend is a little bit unique because. This is my kids last day of school and then we're on spring break this week so like Saturday is going to be getting ready and we're actually going to be going to Legoland on Sunday for a couple days. Um, so this isn't going to be a very exciting thing because usually we have horseback riding, we have like my cleaning thing, I get my groceries, that sort of thing. So really there shouldn't be too much going on on Saturday. It's mostly going to be, or Sunday, mostly it's going to be Saturday. So that looks pretty good for Saturday. I'm going to do the same thing on Sunday. It's kind of a boring... Um, 
it's not too busy because we're mostly going to be traveling. Like, we're leaving in the morning. So, we're still going to make it cute. I still want it to look like this. And I still want to just make sure that I have everything in order. going through again things that I remembered like oh I have to pick up something at Walmart I still have to get Dramamine for uh, one of my kiddos I need to figure out the car activities and I saw this thing on Pinterest where you like make a timeline to say like here's the start and here's the finish and then you just move the car along as you go as the closer you get to your destination so that your kids aren't constantly like are we there yet are we there yet so I think I might try to make that just um, to minimize some of those things <laughs> um, Okay, let's see. Yeah, so mostly like this afternoon. All right, maybe I should block this out to just say, this is when you're gonna be getting ready. So let's be smart about it. <laughs> I hope my kid doesn't throw up, but she's prone to do that, so I want to be prepared this time. I already cleaned out my car. I want to make sure we are all set for this and just pray that that doesn't happen for us, please. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with my highlighter, just make it look a little bit more pretty. This is like what I start with for the week, I'm sorry, for the weekend. And I feel like, do I want to color this in? Yeah, probably. Okay. Um, and then I'll add to it. So this is going to be annoying. Is this going to drive you crazy the way that it's going to drive me crazy when the highlighting doesn't go the same way? I don't know why I did that. Okay, it's fine. Not a big deal. These are first world planner problems. Okay. So this is my, this is going to be good. This is good for me to start. This is good for me to get ready. I'm sure I'm going to add to this and then it's probably not going to be as pretty by the end of it, but at least I know what I need to do. It's cute. It's purple, my favorite color. And then I'll add whatever I need to as we go. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.